Hey guys, Stupid here. So I'm finally going to be making my guide today on Necrolord Feraldred for 9.2. Uh, the reason we're starting off on Necrolord is because Necrolord is the best covenant right now. Uh, it's the most viable. Uh, Knife and Kyrian are also quite nice, but Necrolord is king. Uh, but yeah, so we're starting off on Necro. Uh, in this video, we're going to be covering everything you need to know uh, to perform well as a Feraldred in PP. Uh, talent choice, honor talents, legendaries, gear, and also tier sets, uh, which, we'll get, uh, which we're going to get into. Uh, soul binds, conduits, opener, and then also your rotation and just how to kind of min max damage in general. Um, and yeah, we're on the tournament round, by the way. So we got all the access to all the gear and everything, all the conduits, all the um, transmog too, which doesn't really matter for this, but yeah, it's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that's the plan. Uh, in the description below, we're going to have all the um, timestamps so you can skip ahead to what you want to watch. And yeah, let's dive right into the video. Okay, so starting off, we're going to be talking about your talent choice as a Feldrum PP. Uh, on the 15th row, as Necrolord, Lunar is the best uh, pick by far. Uh, it's buff buffed by two huge modifiers, uh, Adaptive Swarm and um, Draft of Deep Focus, which also buffs it by about 40% each. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of damage increase, and Lunar or Moonfire will easily be your first, um, second, or third highest damage in a game. And I think it's like really underrated to kind of spam this a lot as you're hiding and then uh, building comp points. Uh, as often as a Feral, like you, you don't really want to be in um, a one-to-one -one, like melee fight with like a warrior or something, for example. So like cutting away, let bleeds tick, spam uh, Lunar, get comp points, go in, maim, and then initiate that way. It's often the best thing to do. So yeah, on the 15th row, go with Lunar Inspiration. All right, so on the 25th row, we got Wild Charge, Renewal, and Tiger Dash. Here, Wild Charge is the best option. Uh, Wild Charge has so much use. You can jump to your teammates. Uh, you can jump to enemies. You can jump in trial form. You can do so much with it. And it's really, really good uh, for these reasons. Uh, so yeah, Wild Charge is definitely the, the best pick. Um, just a great way to kind of initiate and also disengage. Or, uh, yeah, run with basically... So, uh, definitely go with Wild Charge. I think Renewal is a decent option sometimes. Uh, if you really, like, need the heals, maybe in, like, a 1-1. Um, but, yeah, Wild Charge is the best option there, for sure. Jump in and do your damage. Okay, so next up, we got the 30 row. Here, we got Garden Finty, Bounce Finty, and Resto Finty. So, on this row, the biggest winner is Garden Finty. Uh, especially for, for Necrolord as well, because when you swarm yourself and regen, it buffs the healing of, of, of regen by 38%. Uh, See, so it also works with your class ability or your uh, covenant ability, which is massive. Um, and also, roar is huge to peel, to set up CC. Uh, you can roar clone, for example, and also just to kind of to, to get back into bear form fast too. For example, if you leave bear form, uh, I'll show you now. If you leave bear form, you can press it again and you're instantly back off the global. And it's really good. Also from cat form. As if you uh, press roar in cat form in, in any form, it's going to put you in bear form. So it's really good to kind of just quickly get back in bear. And also get a, a uh, disorient out at the same time. Uh, rest of Indy can be nice. It, it's, it's not horrible. Uh, especially if you're playing like double DPS like Feraldred Hunter for example. Uh, you might need some more heals in, into maybe a warlock or like a mage. Uh, but anytime the Feraldred is at a risk of, of, of kind of getting trained. Um, I think Garden Finty is the move. Uh, but yeah, so Resto is decent too, and, and you can play sometimes if you feel like you, you, your teammate is dying. Um, but with Garden, you can do huge off yourself, but like Strength of the Wild and spam Regrowth, so you can still do a lot of heals on your teammate as well. Uh, but yeah, now on to the, the, the next row. Alright, next up is the 35 row. On this row, we got Mighty Bash, Master, and Heart of the Wild. So all three here are, are, are pretty good. I see Bash is kind of based on option. You, you, you can never really go, go wrong with Bash. Uh, it's great to CC with. Bash Trap, Bash Fair, Bash Cyclone, Bash anything really. Uh, then we have Master. Master is quite nice in, in, into things with pets like a Windwalker Monk um, or a Bee Hunter. Can be good. And next is up is uh, Heart of the Wild. Heart of the Wild is a long cooldown, but if, if you really feel like you need the extra heals in, in, in the matchup or the extra tankiness uh, from having your uh, Bear from be, be better and two, two stacks of regen, uh, it can be nice. But uh, generally speaking, play Bash and you can't really go, go wrong with it. And try like do bash trap, bash fair and stuff to uh, set up with. Uh, so yeah, that's for the 35 row. Okay, so on the 40 row, we got Soul the Forest, Savitor, and Incarn. On this row, you want to play with Soul the Forest mainly. It's like the best option, pretty much. Savitor and Incarn are quite good as well, though. Uh, Savitor, it's nice. Some Feralds play Savitor a lot, some don't. I personally don't. 
uh, but it's definitely like uh, a good option that, that you, you can play with uh, if you like it. It's kind of like playstyle dependent. Uh, then also Incarn. It doesn't do that much, but um, maybe with like Tier Set and, 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 and like a Frenzy Band build, you can kind of reduce the CD of, of Berserk to the point where Incarn could be worth uh, just for the restealth. Uh, but yeah, Soul of the Forest, just a nice, clean, more energy, more damage on uh, finishing moves. And um, yeah, solid optional overall for sure. All right, so next up on the 45, we're going to send the Blood, Brutal Slash, and Prime Wrath. Uh, on this road, the best option is by far Slash. Uh, it's, it's, it's really cheap and good combo generator. Uh, actually got buffed by 20% recently. And yeah, it costs 25 energy compared to Slash, uh, compared to Shred, which is 40. Moonfire, 30. Uh, Rake, 35. So yeah, it's just the cheapest and, and best um, generator, of course, after you have Rake up and, and Moonfire up. As those two, you want, you want to keep up all time uh, for the uh, overtime effect. Uh, but yeah, Slash is the move there for sure. On the 50 row, we got Frenzy, BT, and Moment of Clarity. Bloodhounds uh, is, is is decent, uh, but for Necrolord Felgerd, Frenzy is the move uh, for sure. It's buffed by your Swarm, and it's some huge burst. Basically, as a, 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 a Necrofell, your burst is um, lining up your Swarm, Fury, and Frenzy. So you can do some big uh, Frenzies like this, for example. Like Rake. Frenzy, Swarm, and then it can rip, you know, whatever, but the main thing is the Frenzy there. As you can see, Sickle is my uh, dot from my Terra set, which is a lot too. But that's like so many mobs that it's uh, some crazy damage. But yeah, Sickle is also very nice, which we're going to get into uh, later in the video. But yeah, Frenzy does a ton of damage. It's 45 gear uh, on, on this dummy. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the talents for Feldred, and now on to the Honor Talents. Which will change quite a bit depending on certain stuff. So yeah, let's dive into it. Alright, so now moving on to Honor Talents. So for Honor Talents, they, they change a lot depending on the comp you're playing and the comp you're facing. Uh, so basically, for example, into Melee Cleaves or Melees, you want to play Thorns, right? But if you're not facing Melees, Thorns is not really the move. Uh, so then you probably got like Wound like this. Uh, and it also depends on the, on the, if you have a healing reduction on your team. For example, if you're playing playing with a warrior or hunter hunter in threes, uh, you don't want to play wicked, as they already have a healing reduction. Uh, but if you don't ha uh, have a healing reduction on our team, if you're playing, for example, with a mage for the priest, um, then you want to play wicked. So yeah, these will change just depending on what you're facing. I can do like an example now. Uh, let's say I'm playing holy priest, felder and twos, right? And I'm facing warrior, holy priest. Uh, then I want to have thorns because it's a warrior. And I want to have Wicked because I don't have a healing reduction on my team already. Uh, different example, let's say I'm playing threes with a hunter, and, uh, yeah, threes with a hunter, like jungle. And we're facing RMP. Uh, then I don't want one Wicked because um, because of my hunter's healing reduction. And I don't want Thorns really because we're going to get spell stolen uh, from the mage. So therefore you play this or this. Uh, but yeah, kind of get, get the point. So like, it, it's just going to change depending on what you're facing and what you're playing. Um, and yeah, that's the foreign talents. And now we're going to be to be going into uh, legendaries. Okay, next up we're going to be talking about the legendary effects for the Necrolord Feldred in PvP. Uh, so starting off, I'm going to talk about Unity. I think Unity is the best on the Waste. You can make it on like Feet, Ring, doesn't really matter. Um, but Waste is a nice option, that's where I made it. Uh, just make sure it, it doesn't have like a bad interaction with your tear set or like some some other legendary. For example, you can make it on like the the chest as you want your tear set on chest or head or hands. So yeah, I recommend the waste. Um, Unity gives you a uh, unbridled swarm, which is not the best legendary effect at all, but it's actually quite nice to have. It's not good, but uh, it just gives you higher uptime on swarm, and it's not as bad as some people might have you uh, have you think. Um, but yeah, it's not great. But definitely just gives you some nice uptime on Swarm on yourself and on enemies when it splits. As it's going to be jumping around way more. For your other uh, effect, the best one overall is probably Draft of Deep Focus or Draught of Deep Focus. Uh, it it, it just gives you flat 40% more damage on Moonfire, Rake, Rip, and Rejuve uh, when on a, on a single target. Uh, okay, so I'm editing the video and I just realized I kind of explained this wrong. So basically, Draught works like on a one bleed basis uh, if you got like... Rake and Rip on X, um, and the, but then Rake, Rip, and Moonfire on Y. The Moonfire on Y will still be buffed, uh, but the Rake and Rip won't be. Uh, so, yeah. But, yeah, so it's really good overall. Uh, there are other options that, like, can be nice. I think um, one good one is 
the natural orders will. Uh, into like, for example, Rogue Mage or like Thug Cleave, like Hunter Rogue. Uh, being more tanky is the move. Uh, so going for natural order spells is insane. Uh, what this does, it basically gives you a regen and iron fur when you skin in bear form. So for example, you pre-bear a kidney and you, you press skin it in, in, in the kidney and you just become really, really tanky. You become omega tanky and uh, you can't really die. And then also when skin ends, the same, same, same thing happens again. As you can see, skin ends. Regen is used again. And if you weave these regens with your normal ones, like well honed Instincts, where procs when you uh, drop below 40%, and your normal regen, you have a ton of heals. And again, these are buffed by Swarm. So if, if you can Swarm these, you have some crazy heals. Uh, so yeah. There's one more that, that is quite nice too that, that I've tried out, and this is uh, Frenzy Band. This one has a pretty similar effect to your tier set, where uh, Berserk CD is reduced and you get like more of a bleed on uh, Berserk as well. Uh, so your Frenzy Band is not a bad option. I think it's quite nice to have, uh, especially if you want to cleave something, like completely cleave it down. Uh, playing Draught might not make the most sense, uh, so Frenzy Band can be nice. Uh, but yeah, overall, my biggest recommendation is Draught uh, and then... Uh, Natural orders into some things and frenzy band. You could like try it out, it's not bad, uh, but definitely needs some more testing, I think, uh, for sure. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the le for legendary effects on the Necklord Lord Faldred. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about gear stats and also tear set. So let's dive right into it. Okay, so now on to gear stats, sockets, everything for the Necklord Lord Faldred. Uh, starting off here, I'm just go going to be go going over all my gear that I have now and that you want to get to. Uh, again, we just talked about the uh, legendaries, which of course kind of goes into this. Um, but yeah, starting off, you want tear set on your head, your chest, your hands, and your legs. So basically, we get like haste verse uh, on the chest, verse mastery on the head from from those, which is super nice. Uh, the stats become a, a, bit, a bit worse on the hands and uh, legs, but they're still quite nice. The, the shoulder stair set give like crit haste, which is like just the worst that combo, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you have like shoulders or, or legs for those, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but I definitely definitely recommend this combo. Hands, legs, chest, and head for the tear set. So for the rest now, we have, of course, verse mastery on the neck. Uh, verse mastery is like just like the best stats for, for, for Felgerd, any covenant really. Uh, just verse mastery is like your biggest prio. So any piece you can have be uh, verse mastery, uh, you kind of want it to be verse mastery, um, to a certain uh, extent at least, like from PvP. Uh, but you also want some haste for sure. Uh, next up, we got the shoulders, which are haste verse, the cloak verse mastery, the chest again haste verse because because of tear set it gives a ton of haste actually, which is quite nice, as haste is really really good for uh, Necrolord. Uh, then we got the wrist haste verse. The weapon is going to be haste first as well. Uh, the trinkets, I got an insignia on right now. Uh, sometimes you want to play Aegis, sometimes BM, and then also sometimes maybe Resonator. Uh, but insignia is always nice to have. Uh, nice um, uptime on the proc, and also just nice to, to have some haste. I have like 19% right now, which is quite high, but it feels like nice to have. I think it would have at least 15%. Um, again, I'm on TR, so like my gear is maxed out, so the stats look pretty insane. Uh, as to get like fully geared with like all the the, the best stuff here, um, but yeah. Of course, want to have a medallion so you can trinket. This is, is, is really really good. Uh, for the rings, you want one haste verse and then also one verse mastery. And then feet haste verse. The legs are crit master because of your um, uh, your tear set. It's not a crit to have as as Necrolord, but it's quite nice. You know, critting stuff is quite nice still. Uh, not too shabby, and it's kind of you know the stats are fixed on the uh, tear set. On the waist, we're crafting it with verse mastery, and then hands tear set again is haste mastery. So you can see with this, my verse is thirty four percent mastery fifty one. You can kind of like mix these things around. For example, if you have like a PVE ring, uh, which if you do PVP and PVE, you, you can go like this. For example, you can have two verse mastery rings in high eye level, and then. Yeah, that's good as well. But if, if you're just PPing, then this is more than than uh, than good. Um, but yeah, now for enchants. So for enchants 
On the feet, 15 agility. On the rings, you want the 16% verse, or 16 verse rather. On the weapon, go for sinful re uh, revelation. Uh, intellect, on the wrist, doesn't matter. Uh, also, like strength on the gloves, it's just like cosmetic, do doesn't do anything. Um, on the chest, primary stats, three. And on the cloak, you want the stamina and minor speed increase. And now for sockets or gems. So for gems, you want that you, you want to have one of these. The 13% speed gem. I have it up on the screen now. So you can see the name. Uh, it gives you 13% th speed for each gem. You have, you have, you have socket, which, which actually adds up to about 7% speed, which works in arena, which is huge. You see here? Unequip. Lost 7% speed. Um, it's massive. Um, but yeah, like the rest, it's pretty much just verse. 16 verse for the gems. Um, you could do like one 5% speed gem too. It's quite nice uh, for even more speed. As a Feral Druid, I, I don't really find it like needed, but it's definitely nice to have and it's not a bad option. But yeah, that's pretty much it for like gear and, 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 and stats. Again, stat part and everything is going to be on the screen and uh, you can see it all here. And uh, yeah, now on to the next part of the guide, which is going to be soul binds and conduits. Alright, so now onto your best Soulbind and Conduit. So here we got a uh, Plague Divisor. Merilith is your best one to go with. Uh, you can see the pathing here. And so for the Conduits, we got first Evolved Swarm. Really good. It just increases the uh, effects done by Adaptive Swarm. It's really nice to have. Uh, for the first um, Endurance Conduit, we got Innate Resolve. Makes your Regrowth and Regents higher by 26%. It's huge. Uh, the third one here, I got Taste of Blood. This one is quite nice. You can swap Taste of Blood out for, for example, Sudden Ambush if you want to. If uh, it's a matchup where you're not really going to be getting bites in, for example. Sudden Ambush can be better than uh, Taste of Blood for sure, but I quite like it. As you can still get some huge bites as Necrolord. Uh, sometimes like 20k bites as Necro, which is massive. Um, but yeah, next up is uh, Well Honed Instincts. This one's super, super nice. Proxy region for you. Again, also affected by Swarm. Um, the CD is only 61 seconds once it, uh, it's in 278, seven, two, uh, which is also very nice. Uh, then down here, you have the ultimate form, uh, which makes your fleshcraft make you immune to CC, uh, which can like do, for example, on a on a coil, on a leg sweep or something, you can like fleshcraft the, the CC. A lot of outplay potential with this one. Uh, then we got Carnivore's Instincts, just makes your, your Fury damage bonus uh, stronger. By 6.6%, which is also really, really nice. Uh, then we're going down here. For the Vicious Trail. Quite nice to have. The reason like we're not going here, really, is because of um, the Finesse Condits. As Finesse Condits, generally speaking, are like not very, very nice. Uh, but yeah, then we have Ursign, which is huge. Just makes your bear form have a higher HP uh, and, and armor. Uh, four seconds after shifting into it. Uh, so, for example, if, if, if you bear form and then region instantly, it's going to be a higher heal. As your HP is higher for the first uh, four seconds. So also, like if you pre-bear, for example, pre-bear uh, a stun, it makes you way more tanky in the start of it. Just check, check the armor difference too. Armor here is um, yeah, thirty-six point seventy-four percent. If I go into bear from now, it's forty forty-two point thirty-three, which is quite significant. Um, and then for the last one, of course, we have Kevin's Oosling, which gives you more damage when he's up, which is also quite nice to have. Uh, but yeah, that's your uh, Soulbind and Conduits, actually. And now we're going to be going into like actual opener rotation, just kind of how to do your damage uh, in general as a Feral Druid in uh, Arena and PvP. So let's dive right into it. Okay, now it's time to talk about the actual opener rotation and just how to do the most damage as possible, which of course is the main objective as a Feral Druid. Also, living, of course, is, is, is important, but uh, yeah, doing damage is, is a major uh, point of playing a DPS class. And bleed uptime and stuff like this are really, really important. Uh, but yeah, by the way, so with Terra Set, we get the bleed, of course, Sickle, uh, when you Berserk. Also, Berserk CD is reduced by each comp point spent by 0 0.7 uh, seconds. This is not really going to like affect your actual ro rotation that much. Um, but uh, a bit like, let's say before you would kind of like not really care when you use Berserk as much. 
Uh, but now with, with the terror set, Berserk becomes a really de deadly cooldown as this bleed is massive. Um, but yeah, so starting off with the opener for Feldred, our goal in the opener is going to be doing... By the way, one sec. Let me show you guys something. Uh, I got an add-on here. Trophy GCD. I'm going to make it a bigger. You guys can see uh, the spells I'm using in the opener. And I like, see the uh, sequence on it. Uh, but yeah, for the opener, uh, the goal is going to be for max damage. Uh, we're going to be Furing and Stealth. Rake. Frail Frenzy. Swarm. Berserk. Rip. Moonfire, Shred, Bite. So, I'll do it now. So, opening up. Fury, Rake, Feral Frenzy, Swarm, Berserk, Rip, Moonfire, and then Bite. So, that's like pretty much like the most damage you can do in an opener. Of course, you'll, you'll keep keep biting, keep shredding, you know. Um, and, and it's doing huge damage. Uh, but that right there is kind of like the main opener. Uh, I'll show you guys, like, a different variant of the opener now as well. Okay, now for a different opener variant. By the way, there are, like, like a few different versions of the opener you can do. For example, if you're going to get seed instantly when you open, uh, for example, by, like, a druid or a rogue, they're going to, like, instantly stun you. Uh, it might not be the move to, like, pop Berserk and stuff, like, uh, in Fury. Um, uh, so you'll just kind of, like, just get, get to seed and, and, and not get the value. Uh, but this next opener here is if um, you want to see target for longer. Like, let's say if your healer is going to mind games them, or you're going to have a mage combust, or like just kind of... Your teammate is going to be doing damage as well. Or does you, uh, in general. This can be nice to kind of force more stuff and just kind of get trinkets out the way. And this is going to be by uh, stun chaining them with like, like a rake from the opener into maim into potentially a triple DR rake stun. And, and this is by um, opening with um, Fear and Stealth, Rake, Feral Frenzy, Swarm, then hold the global, or like half a global, whatever, and then maim off the Rake Stun, and then uh, Shred, Moonfire, Rip, or uh, something like this. So, for example, we're going we're gonna to open up, Rake, Feral Frenzy, Swarm, hold the global bit, and then maim. And then, you do this. There we go. Uh, you can also like do a triple DR Rake off that maim. Uh, but, but very often, what this will do is kind of make you uh, help you force a trinket, as it will have to uh, trinket the, the the DR maim. Especially if your teammate is, like, casting mind games, or, like, they're also doing, like, some kind of damage on the uh, enemy. Which they should be doing uh, on Ghost. Uh, so you want to be coordinated uh, with your team, you know? Uh, by, for example, getting a Chastise Fair on the, the enemy healer as you're doing this go, and then they cast some mind games. And then the enemy will have to trink it or just die. Um, so, yeah. That's the second opener. Again, like, there are openers where you're just going to be opening, pretty much. Uh, wait, let's drop combat there. Let me sp spend my combo here. I can show. Uh, there are times where you might just open up. Let's say, like, you know you're going to get to see it instantly. Just open up. You can just, like, rake, you know, thrash, whatever. Just try to get bleeds up. And then you have this up. And then you can start kind of like, and now you might succeed, right? But then you're not committed to your Berserk, your uh, Swifty, your uh, Fury, or Frenzy, right? And then you can so, so use those the, the next go or when the next opportunity arises. Uh, but yeah, now just on to like your general rotation and just kind of like what's important to focus on as a Feldred uh, in Arena and PP in general. Okay, so now I'm going to be talking about just kind of like what to do between goals, like after opener, uh, and just in general, like what you should focus on as a Feldred, uh, and kind of like what the priority on things to do is. Uh, so let's say you do your opener, right? So you open up, do like the most damage you can, you know, the opener I showed, the big damn one, full bleeds, everything is up, you pump pumping damage, and now of course the enemy might try to try do a goal. After they've maybe trinketed, use some cooldowns, uh, it's their turn to do a goal. Usually, just make sure you have full bleeds up. You can even, like, reply rip, like, early. If, if, if rip is fading soon, and you know you, you're not going to be able to, to reply it, just reply early. Get full bleeds up, and then, as the enemy is going to do their goal, you can bear form. Pre-bear form. Kite away, you know. Spam some moon fires. Like, this kind of is the feral place a lot, is where you're going to have bleeds ticking. And then, once those are up, you can be face in damage sometimes. But most time... At least into uh, like certain things like warriors or or whatever, 
uh, you want to kind of stay far away. Happily, so you can stay far away, get five comp points, and then once you you, you can do, do go again, you got your, your swarm, your frenzy, your free back, you can jump in and do the goal. So yeah, let's just say like uh, I, I got full bleeds up and I go kiting, get my comp points back, and then you can jump in, maim, do new goal. Maybe chain like a direction of this one. And same thing again. Keep these up. Sometimes, of course, you can stay in if the enemy doesn't have cooldowns. Uh, I think it just kind of comes by, by playing a lot of arena, kind of like learning when you can be in and, and uh, when you cannot be in. Uh, sometimes staying in, in calf form, and just like damaging will get you killed. Like really, really sick. Because Fraldred is quite squishy, especially in, in calf form. Um, so be careful with this. Uh, but sometimes you, you, you can stay in and just kind of pump more. Uh, especially in threes, if the enemy team is focusing your teammate, for example. Uh, you can stay in and just, and just pump more damage. Uh, but yeah, just focus on living. If, you, if you're the target, have bleeds up. Uh, kites, spam moonfire, and your damage will, will be high. Uh, and you're not going to be dead. Which, of course, if you're dead, uh, your damage won't be very high at all. Uh, but yeah, it's like one great thing to do is it, just like rip, bleeds up, kite away, moonfire, moonfire, stay far. You can maim again off the R, jump in. Maim to the go. Sickle bleed, of course, is huge now. Now there's like a a, a, a ton of mobs, so this damage is kind of crazy. Uh, but it's probably like like a 40, 50k bleed on a single target as well. Um, in arena, actually, which is very nice. Uh, but yeah, guys, again, bleed up time. That's everything for Faldred. Just make sure you have high bleed up time. Uh, like your your moonfire rake and rip. Like those three things are huge. Try keep keep this up all the time, even when you're kiting. Uh, you want to make sure those three are up. Thrash is like lower prio. It's quite nice to have. Again, it, it, it ties into Taste of Blood, which increases the, the bite damage per bleed is up, and uh, this counts um, for Thrash as well. But I guess it's truly like bleed up time is one of the biggest things. Make sure you like bleeds are up, and as long as those are up, you're doing good, pretty much like damage wise. And then try line up your Swarm, uh, Fury, and Frenzy for Ghost. One question I get a lot is um, because, you know, Fury is not, not the, the, the same CD as your uh, Frenzy and Swarm, right? They're quite different. So people, like, will qu quite often ask me if, if they should Swarm, like, between Frenzies. And I, I'd say, yeah, like, if you have a go, I'll show it. No, actually. Let's say you have no Frenzy. I'll say use Frenzy here. Let's say you frenzy the the opener. You have a goal, but no frenzy. You can like maim and swarm. If the like pressure is quite good, you, you definitely maim fury and swarm, and just like you know slash, 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 dr rake. You know like this is like also good damage. If you think that that's gonna force like a trinket or like some kind of defensive, it can be be, be worth doing, uh, and kind of like at the same time delaying your next frenzy goal. Uh, but that can be worth. Uh, but you hope this kind of makes sense. Basically, to summarize, uh, focus on bleed up time. Line up your stuff, your frenzy, swarm, and fury when you can. Sometimes, if it's going to force stuff, you can use them uh, separately. Uh, but generally speaking, try line them up. And uh, yeah, sickle. Try like use sickle with your um, fury and swarm as well, as the sickle bleed is buffed by these things. Uh, especially swarm is huge for it. Um, and yeah, like CD on, on Berserk is, is reduced by spending comp points. So like being in can definitely help you, uh, reduce the, the CD as well. And now to a goal with like Sickle and Frenzy. Full comp points. Si Sickle's ready, Frenzy's ready, Fury's ready, everything's ready. You go Maim, Fury, Swarm, Berserk, and it's huge damage. Maybe DR Bash or something. And like that's a ton of damage, right? Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much everything on the rotation parts. Uh, for like living, bear from his key, kiting is key. Remember, your Felgerd mobility is one of your strongest things. Uh, the best things about you is that you're like super, super fast. You can jump away. You can speed, you know, dash, roar, and also bear form. So yeah, just uh, re utilize those a lot. Um, again, roar to, to get in bear form is huge. Swarm regens. 
And uh, guys, in general, Arena is just a, a game of trading cooldowns well. Uh, trading trinkets correctly, uh, and just, uh, yeah, just trading things well. Flesh Cut is huge, um, but yeah. Basically, just focus on trading cooldowns well as well, and uh, you'll do good and improve a lot. Let me just check, that's all for the guide. I got a little thing here written down. That's pretty much all for the guide. I'm sorry if it's, it's a bit, like, messy in the end here, but I uh, hope you kind of got something out of it as, um... It's not quite, like, cut and, and clear sometimes, like, what's the best thing to do. And things will, like, vary a, a lot on the situ uh, situation of the game. Uh, if, you know, if, if you should um, just maim or, or, or whatever. In general speaking, kind of get do two maims every one frenzy. Uh, it's quite good to do. Um, as, like, you know, one frenzy every two Sunday hours kind of makes sense. Um, but, yeah. Good luck on your frail, frail journey, guys. And if in, any questions, you can ask in the comments, ask in my stream, in, in my Discord. Uh, I have a few guides on so like key bindings and everything. Uh, key bindings, I got a macro guide. I got a add-on guide. That you can also check out in the description below. And uh, yeah, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And take care.